What's up guys, it's Chase from Chase's Workshop. Uh, this video I'm going to give you some updates and things that are going on in the shop. Um, I know it's been about three weeks since I talked to you guys, so a lot of stuff's happened in the, that time. Um, one thing was is my family was all sick with the flu about two and a half weeks ago, and somehow I was spared from the whole ordeal, uh, which I'm thankful for, but still it's, it's, a, it's a, long, a long process. Um, and if it went for my wife, my I don't know what I'd done because I was working and she was sick and taking care of kids and uh, it was it was a it was a lot on her too. So uh, um, we also had some flooding last weekend in my community and uh, we ended up working over at the fire department uh, for a while and um, we're basically getting people out of their homes in boats and it was pretty eye opening and pretty. Uh, weird experience that we went through during that and we had all the departments of the city the street department who worked more than anybody really them and the pond department and electric board they all worked together with us and it was cool seeing everybody come together but it was sad seeing people uh people's property getting messed up and then yesterday we find out that down south alabama there was a tornado that hit that killed uh 23 people including uh adults and children so, uh, just, I don't know, it's, it's been, 2019 has been a crazy year so far, and I'm hoping that, uh, <laughs> hoping that it all ends now, and it just gets better from here on out. Maybe it will. Anyways, guys, if you would, just, uh, keep them in your prayers, or if you don't do that, just be thinking about them, or, or whatever, I'd really appreciate it. So, with all that being said, I really haven't had a lot of time to make a video, but I have been working in the shop. I've had um, a couple of people order some bead benders again. As you remember, some of the money I made the last time I uh, had the bead, somebody order a bead bender, I bought the uh, stepper on line boards and did the update video on that to where I was upgrading my CNC machine. And uh, with some of this money, I actually bought some lumber for a guitar build. Actually, for two guitar builds. And I would like to um, start that soon. Now, I've also been working on the pickup monitor and all that stuff too so I hadn't quit on that but what I want to show you right quick and I don't know I know a lot of you guys that subscribe to my channel probably um, are interested in building guitars and building pickups and stuff like that so I found a really cool company and they hadn't paid me to say this uh, and I just basically stumbled upon this company online and I've been using them ever since to buy my body blanks and stuff because I, I feel like they're actually reasonably priced and all that good stuff now, what the company that I use is uh, Kaim Lumber, K-E-I-M Lumber.com, I think is their website. If not, I'll put, a, I'll put a link in the description where you can go check it out. But uh, they sell all kinds of different body blanks. Now, they used to sell a lot more than they do now. Now, I think all they carry is alder, swamp ash, um, basswood, mahogany, and I think that might be it. I'm not sure. They used to carry poplar. Most of the guitars that I built, the the B Bender guitar that I built, is a poplar body. That one with the paisley on it, it's a poplar body. Um, I've built three or four out of poplar, and I've built two or three out of alder. Now I bought alder blanks this time. Um, bought two of these. These are three piece alder blanks, and um, they are thirty seven dollars ninety nine cents a piece. Which you know, if you get online and try to find an alder body blank from eBay or somewhere like that, or Stu Mac or any of those places, you're going to spend $100 on a body blank. Now, the wood might be better, but it's wood to me. You know what I mean? Kind of deal. If it's alder, it's alder, basically. I'm not going to be staining in the back to show any of this, so I'm going to be painting it. So you're not going to see it. It doesn't really matter to me. So 30, $37.99 for the wood. Now, the wood I want to use for the top I'm going to be using a um, wood that's from my area. I've got a guy that uh, runs a sawmill in the area, and I contacted him about six months ago and asked him if he had any, any um, maple, um, walnut, stuff like that, stuff that I can use to build guitars with. And he said, yeah, you need to check out some of this maple that I have. And so I went out there, and he had this. This is actually maple, believe it or not. I've never seen maple that looks like this, but it's got a lot of cool different colors and um, different stuff with it and when I bought it it was basically it was from a sawmill it the it was already smooth like this in the front and the back but you know it still had the live edge on it 
So basically I cut that out and then split it on my table saw and then got to this point here to where I can uh, do a book match on the, well, how's it go here? Do the book match, finish on it. <clears throat> where are they at? There they are. To do the book match here. So it looks something like that. So this is what I want the top to be. I've never done a top on a on a solid body guitar. So this will be my first time with that. And I've built guitars for five or six years now. And I'm um, uh, not saying that I'm like an expert at building guitars. So when you watch me, I'm probably going to make mistakes. But uh, you can laugh at me, and I can laugh at them. And then maybe it'll keep you from making a mistake, and then we can all learn from it kind of deal, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I've got that going on. I'm wanting to get that done. I'm wanting to start that basically because it's starting to get kind of in the summer months or starting to get in the spring to when I actually get out here in the shop and do some finishing and stuff like that. So I've got that going on. And you can also buy, uh, they've got, they sell um, acoustic bo acoustic wood on at Kyle Lumber. You can buy like the back and side sets and the soundboard and stuff like that. You can buy neck wood. The neck that I built for the uh, Paisley guitar, that's actually a neck. Uh, blank that I bought from them. It's just a, it's just a uh, bird's eye maple. And I think I think that neck blank was like twenty bucks, maybe. You know. So now the place they do get you is in the shipping, and that's anywhere. Um, I bought these two body blanks, thirty-seven dollars a piece, and uh, the shipping was like fifteen bucks. So, but I mean, it's it's, it's heavy wood too, so I I really can't complain. But anyways, there's that. I've also been. Still working on the Pickup Winder 2.0. I've had a lot of you guys ask, um, why uh, why are you building 2.0 if you've got the 1.0 that's, that's good? And the 1.0 is great. There's nothing wrong with it. The only thing about it is, is it, it only winds to a certain speed, which is around 800 RPMs. The thing, I, I, I tested it out and it said it would do 1200 RPMs. But by the time you put the pickup on there and you're winding it and doing everything else, you're bogging it down. I, I wouldn't say the thing's spinning over 800. So, but this one I'm kind of trying to get more into a commercial grade um, pickup winder that you can build yourself, uh, kind of competing competing with the Mojo Tone, uh, one of those pickup winders, and those things are kind of expensive. They're about five hundred dollars, I think, for one of those, and they're great. Nothing wrong with them. I'm just saying um, I can't spend that kind of money on a on a pickup winder. So that's where I'm kind of going with this guy here. It's trying to get you if you're wanting to make pickups and be able to make them fast and sell them and whatever you want to do you can build one of these and uh and, and do it so what i've done here is i worked on this today and um since i made the last video that i did on the pickup winder or the uh where i did the the power supply i should have never done it because i didn't need all this crap but you live you learn it was a mistake i made sorry um maybe you learned something from it anyways i don't know so i basically took all this stuff and just wired it right into the board. So I got the power coming in here, 12 volts, goes directly to the boards on the uh, voltage in pin. As you can see, uh, voltage in right there, and it comes in through the back right here. <clears throat> and then the ground goes straight to it too. So the board uh, steps everything down to the correct voltage from the 12 volts. So 12 volts coming in, the boards jump the power down to what they need, and then I jump the power over here to this uh, connection right here, and that goes to my speed controller board right here and then it all runs off of that and I still I'm going to put a fuse between this and here so I'll have a little inline fuse to where the power comes in it goes straight into this now what I've got to figure out next is I've got to figure out how to mount all this stuff in the pickup winder so I don't really think I need to make a video of me trying to figure all that crap out I'm just thinking that once I get done I can show you how I did it kind of thing. So that's where I'm at on that, and I want to get that done. I've also got to build a um, disc for this for this to read, because you know this thing, it's got to have a disc going through it that spins with the uh, shaft to read the center. So I've got to do that, and then I've got to also figure out a way to mount these to the outside. Mount the switch, and uh, do a few other little things, and that thing will be close to being done, except for doing the gas mirror that we talked about doing. I'm going to try to maybe figure out. I might, I might get all this part done and then go to doing the guitar build and then um, come back to that maybe. And I also like to build a pickup or two. 
that's kind of where I'm at, guys. And uh, like I said, I really appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, and um, I'm sorry I hadn't seen you in a couple weeks. Or I think it's been two to three weeks. I'm running there. But uh, like I said, we've been doing a lot of stuff in uh, around here and trying to get everybody back healthy again. So, uh, but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like. And if you like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.